Hello everyone, welcome to Land Hermit Crab Educational Center. Today we're going to talk about aggression. When introducing a new crab into your PPDS tank, or existing colony make sure to be present. Best time to do so is when the other crabs are away. Be close in case there is shell jacking or aggression. Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk a little bit about aggression. What does it look like? And if we do see it, how can we address it? So in the wild, they lack lots of resources. So it's natural for them to feel like they have to fight for resources just because they don't have enough. So now we have them in our tanks and their enclosures and we want to make sure that they have plenty of resources so they don't feel they have to fight for them. So now, for example, if we see any um, shell rocking, usually the, the, the aggressor will get on top of the other crab and they will claw onto the shell um, very um, hard with their claw and they'll rock the, sh the crab. Typically that will happen until he um, exits his shell. Now, this can be very dangerous. We, if we see something like this, we want to stop it right away <clears throat> and address it properly just to avoid any harm to the other crab. Now, usually if the crab does not come out of his shell or in other cases, the aggressor will grab a limb of the other crab and pull him out of the shell the other crab would rather lose a limb than lose his shell just because their abdomen are very soft and very fragile so any type of injury to the abdomen it can be deadly to them <clears throat> so we want to make sure that that does not happen now why would it happen inside in our enclosure it can be various things now if you have a new crab that you've maybe purchase from another from a, from a beach shop or a pet store and, or even adopted a crab and you're adding them into your existing colony then you want to make sure that you have plenty of resources when i say plenty of resources i mean plenty of food i like to suggest more than one food dish with plenty of different um items to eat from so that they can feel that they have lots of it. Um, lots of shells, the appropriate size. Purple pinchers typically like round opening shells um, just because it's more comfortable. Their abdomens will fit nicely and comfortable in there. 
and it does need to be the appropriate size if they're too big or too small then they it, it's just not good for them <clears throat> now you have to have them on the substrate when you're ever introducing new crabs into your existing colony just because if you have them on shell on shell shops and things like that sometimes the crabs won't venture and see those things so that's the first thing that they feel um they have to do if they see another crab with a shell that they like or that it, it fits them they're going to go for it so we want to make sure that we avoid that completely and just give them what they need so lots of shells on the substrate lots of food on the substrate so we want to make sure that they have that covered <clears throat> now another reason why you would see aggression temperature change in the in in the enclosure or too high heat too low heat it also could be humidity issues um substrate issues if the if the the enclosure it's not properly set up with what they need it can cause aggression as well not enough protein especially for exotic crabs exotic crabs um, need lots of proteins even more than purple pinchers so we want to make sure that they get plenty of that i like to give my exotic crabs um uh proteins at least once a week besides their dry mixes that they have on a daily basis so i like to give them that extra treat lots of fats which are very important for them as well it, it just eases the the, the environment <clears throat> another thing that's very important is that they need a lot of enrichment they need things to do inside the enclosure so if you just have a a base tank and you don't have things for them to climb on and uh, a wheel or a saucer then this can cause boredom for them and you know they need they just need more to do they need lots of enrichment we have to realize that these are creatures from the wild and they're used to walking for miles and miles at a time at night so we want to make sure that we have we have all those things in their tank so that they can do so if uh, providing them a wheel or several wheels if you can upgrade your tank the size of tank has a lot to do with it as well hey guys so today i wanted to talk a little bit about aggression what does it look like and if we do see it how can we address it so in the wild they lack lots of resources so it's natural for them to feel like they have to fight for resources just because they don't have enough. So now we have them in our tanks and their enclosures and we want to make sure that they have plenty of resources so they don't feel they have to fight for them. So now, for example, if we see any um, shell rocking, usually the, the, the aggressor will get on top of the other crab and they will claw onto the shell um, very um so now let's just say you found yourself with an aggressive crab um, there's for example he is clawing onto a hermit crab grabbing onto a limb or trying to shell jack him what do you do so typically with the first offense, we usually like to suggest make sure that you have plenty of shells, take a good look again, make sure that you have everything they need, check the stats in your tank and separate the aggressor, put him on the farthest side of your tank. Now, if you have a topper, put him on the topper and leave the other crab on the opposite side on the base tank. So on two different sides of the tank and stand by and see what happens again. If there is some aggression again that is going on with the same crab, then you want to go and separate them. So you always want to be prepared just in case something like that happens. Now, if you can prepare a, a temporary tank, it's always good to have one just in case you need to do something like this. It's just basically like a very gentle, small timeout. Now, you don't want to be aggressive when you're grabbing this, this uh, crab. You want to be gentle, make sure that you're making him feel secure. We don't know what's going on. What is it that he's lacking? 
if he is a new crab to you that you just um, adopted or purchased from a beach shop or a pet store, you can't blame him. He is he feels like he needs to fend for himself. So we want to make sure that he has what he needs. Let's just give him that quiet time, put him in that temporary tank and give him lots of resources, a lot of, um, of shells and let's keep it dark for him. Let's keep it, um, no lights, um, for a day just to give him his time to, to collect himself. So you want to make sure that you have that. Now, if, you, if you see that he is doing well in another day or two, I suggest give him two or three days in that temporary tank until he has calmed down some. Make sure you address any situations that need to be addressed. If you have to purchase more shells, then do so. If you need help um, fixing these, these issues, you can always visit us on our Facebook group. We'll always be able to help you there and guide you step by step on what to do. Always record footage. So if we do need to see it and see what's going on, then we can help. Now, there is a difference between aggression and this pecking order. Pecking order is just an establishment that the other crab is, is um, trying to establish his, his place in the tank. So we want to make sure that we're just present. It is normal for them to flick each other, antenna wars, even pushing or um, uh, helping on each other's shell. As long as there is no rocking or grabbing on with the big claw open, then there is no aggression. It's just normal pecking order. It's just him just trying to tell everyone else, hey, I'm the big guy here. I'm the boss. So just let him be, let him do his thing, let him socialize with the other crabs and just take, take a seat and record. But um, after all this has been addressed and you see that the crab has collected himself, you can introduce him into the colony again. You want to introduce him into your base tank. You want to make sure that you have everything you need, like I mentioned before, and just stand by for a little bit for an hour or so and see what's going on if you have a camera in the tank then that is great because you can monitor from your phone uh, or whatever device you're going to be using just so you can keep an eye on him and see what's going on if you guys have any other questions please feel free to leave in the comments or even follow us on our facebook we'll be happy to help you there if you haven't already please like subscribe and even share the video with others and we'll be happy to help you with anything you need i have other social medias if you like i will link everything underneath hope you guys enjoy the video